Oh, welcome back to Let's Play DDO with Voluminous. I'm Voluminous, and we are doing Endgame Marguerite. Um, no, no uh, secret doors, no chests, no traps, no anything in this. It's all just kill mobs. Um, so, let's see. All right. So you talk to anyways anything that you say to Marguerite will eventually talk her into you know not doing anything. She'll she'll run off. You have to just fight your way through zombies and skeletons, and shouldn't be any problem at all for me because I'm level 21 on this character. Uh, you'll know when you can progress because the barrier at the top of the stairs will disappear. You see, there's a barrier up there. Um, Pretty much the only time you're going to have issues is when they start spawning up on the walkways. You're going to have to have some kind of ranged weapon or like a wizard or somebody shoot them down. Um, uh, that said, it's going to be mostly zombies, ghouls, uh, whites, and skeletons. Uh, skeletons are the only thing that's really going to stop you. They're immune to everything, well, they they take less damage from anything but bludgeoning. So if you're fighting a zombie or a ghoul or a white, use a slashing weapon. If you're fighting a, a skeleton, use a bludgeoning weapon. A uh, bludgeoning weapon is like a mace, a hammer, a maul. Um, let's see what else we got here. I think that's pretty well it. War hammers. Uh, pretty pretty easy quest otherwise uh, it's just a matter of holding out against zombies and that so it can, it can get a little difficult if, if you're low level and doing it on elite it can get a little hard um, to do otherwise not too bad um, ghasts yeah ghasts let's see here uh, boop. I believe this is where it starts. This uh, level is where it starts spawning up the the mobs on the platform, so we have to shoot them down or have a good enough jump to get to them at least. Skeletons, skeletons. Maybe they took that out. Yeah, maybe they took that out. I don't know. Uh, used to be that they would put skeletons up there. They probably did that because they found it hard for people to get up there at level 2 or 3, whatever this quest is. Um, oh, watch out. One of the final mobs that spawns is going to spawn right here. It's a arcane mage, and he will mess your stuff up at low level. Uh, mainly because he has an aura, an uh, undead aura that just damages you. Um, yeah, looks like they changed this quest. Uh, used to be it, they would have, uh, yeah, here he is, Arcane Skeleton. Uh, so they used to have him spawn out on these platforms out along the way. I guess they decided that it wasn't, uh, wasn't feasible for characters to get over there, or, uh, what were you gonna do if you didn't have a, a ranged weapon? Um, Run out the back, and you'll find that there is a lever here, and thankfully, unlike the rest of the Catacomb series, it drops you right out up at the top, so you can go right into Dryden's Chamber. This time, however, uh, it will lead to a quest, and we're going to do this. This is Endgame, the Archbishop's Fate. Um, this, this quest, uh, this is actually the end thing for the quest, so summon, summon your hirelings, uh, buff up before you go and talk to him because he's going to attack you. Um, so this is Dryden's chamber. Uh, the end, end game Archbishop's fate. There are no chests, no, uh, no anything. You see Archbishop Dryden there turns into a wraith. He spawns a bunch of arcane skeletons and everything down here. Um, no end chest, no no anything in here, no secret doors, no traps, just uh, just a bunch of spawned monsters. And that completes the Catacomb series. Go out to the marketplace and talk with Friar now, and he'll give you an end reward for completing the quest chain. Uh, thanks for watching Let's Play DDO, DDO with Voluminous, and I'll see you with another adventure.